How much did they say that you needed a down payment of for the $90,000 house? $4,200 or $4,100, I'm sorry. Which you didn't have? No. And that's when you asked him to go and look at this house with you? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Perfectly sensible story. And you bought the house? I did. And your father gave you how much money? $4,100 the amount of the down payment. Now, what kind of work does your father do? Right now, he works at Ikea. Work for Ikea? Yes, ma'am. Do you own your own home? I do. When you gave your daughter and her boyfriend the mm -hmm. $4,100 down payment, where did you take the money from? I withdrew it from my account and immediately went to her bank and deposited it into her account. From a savings account? Yes, I just did a refi on my house. So I had, the money wasn't even really mine. It was for home improvements for my house. So you refinanced your house mm -hmm. and took out some cash? Correct. From your house? Correct. And when had you done that refinance? The end of 2018. In what month had you given your daughter and her boyfriend this $4,100? Uh, I believe March. March of 19? Yes. Did you start the remodeling of your house before you gave your daughter and her boyfriend the money? Yes. Did you ever discuss the fact with your daughter and her boyfriend that you had refinanced your house and had this cash? That, I, I don't recall that don't conversation. Recall. What made you think your father had more money than your mother? Because I know how his financial status is. Well, tell me how you know. He's a smart man. He just has, a, he's always been able to save money. My mom hasn't. Now, of the $4,100, did you pay any money of that back to your father? I didn't. Did you? That's uh, a yes or a no. No. You made no payment to him. Didn't give him any money. After he gave you the down payment, no. you didn't make any payments to him. Is that correct? First, it was $4,300, and they made three payments back to him at $100 a piece. And how do they pay you? Two was cash, and finally the second one, I got them set up to be able to pay me through their bank directly into my bank, through Zelle. Of $100? Yes, and that was so the last have, payment I received. You have a $100 proof that money went from their bank Correct. to your bank. And does that refresh your recollection? It does. Good. I'm glad it refreshed your recollection. You owe your father $4,100. Now, you have a ridiculous counterclaim, which I'm going to entertain in two seconds. In what month did the Child Protective Services open up a case on your baby? Um, I don't even know. A couple months ago. Did you ever tell your father about that? Mm-hmm, I did. You did? You told your father that someone had a, either someone or a pediatrician or someone had called in a report that the child was somehow being neglected? I did. When did you tell him that? When it happened, the day they showed up at my door. It wasn't neglect, though. Somebody called and said that there had been drug use in my home. So they showed up at your door in what mm. month? July. And subsequently, it is your claim that your father called Child Protective Services to list himself as an alternative resource. Mm-hmm. Yes. Good for him. If Child Protective Services opens up a case on you, what you're supposed to do is give them every potential relative. And according to you, your father is a smart man, always knows how to manage his money. My mother, not so smart. Mm-hmm. So what you're not a no, huh? So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to list all people that if Child Protective Services determine that the child has to be removed from your home, the child can go to a smart person instead of going into a foster care system. So if you told your father that someone had reported drug use in your home and subsequently he called Child Protective Services and said, I want to be listed as a resource, is that what you told me in your answer? Yes. That's what you told me. And I say, that's not a complaint. You should say thank you. Your counterclaims dismissed. We're done. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $4,100. Goodbye. Thank you. Parties are excused. You may step out.